So are you someone who has belly fat? You sit down somewhere and literally you have this tire around your stomach and you don't feel good you even sitting down. You don't even feel good about yourself and it's embarrassing. Let's say you wanna go swimming and literally you don't feel good about yourself. Well, I'm going to be telling you some tips on how to lose that lower belly fat and also I'm going to be showing you a workout as well and it's going to make your abs look so much better because everyone wants to know what the workout is well I'm literally going to break it down and I'm going to give you some tips that's going to help you lose that fat and also a workout after as well so before this video starts make sure to click the like button make sure to follow me on my Instagram and my snapchat and also if you are new to the channel make sure to click that red button below and subscribe and finally make sure to turn on my notifications that will mean every time i upload a video you will be notified that i have uploaded a video and you will never miss a ram Guman youtube video so let's begin this video so before i show you the workout i want to talk about the diet first and as you all know that your diet is the most important thing if you want to lose that belly fat now the first thing is that I recommend you to actually take as many meals as possible from home. Just say you are working or you go to college, take your food from home. Why? Because you will know what you are putting inside your body. You know, so many times you will get hungry when you're at work or you're at college and you will just go to the supermarket and you're going to pick whatever. You're going to get some chocolate. You're going to get some crisps because you're not actually thinking about your goal. You're just thinking that, hey, I'm hungry and I need some food. Take your meals from home. Yeah. Get some boxes from your local store or whatever and just put your meals in there. That's going to actually make you so much more organized and you are going to know what you are putting inside your body. And that is why following a meal plan is really good. And that is what I do on my 90 day shredding plan. All of my clients have a meal plan that they will follow and they will know what to eat when. They will know how many calories each meal has. So if you are interested in joining the 90 day shredding plan, make sure to drop me an email and I will give you the full details how you can join and we can work together and we will get you shredded in 90 days. So take your meal from home, pack your meals, and by doing that, you're gonna be so much more organized. And you're not gonna go in your local store to pick up some chocolate crisp, get a pizza, and that's it, you're gonna regret it after. Now the second point is that I know a lot of you live with your parents, you live with your partner or whoever and not everyone has a goal to lose belly fat or lose weight or gain muscle or whatever. So they are going to eat whatever they want. Now what happens is that just say you are at home, you've had your meals and they bring this chocolate or this crisp. That's the time where you are actually going to have something that isn't in your diet or isn't something that's going to help you achieve your fitness goals and you are going to eat it and then after you are going to regret it so what it comes down to is how bad you actually want it because look not everyone's going to be living by themselves some people actually live with other people and they sometimes are not actually good for your fitness goals if you are someone who lives with your parents you can actually educate your parents and say hey look i know you don't want me to be hungry and you want me to eat food but look i don't want you to bring these chocolates these cakes these pizzas you can have it it's all good but don't put it in front of me because it's not going to help me at all and it's going to make you following a good diet plan so much easier so that's another thing that I want you guys to take on board because your diet is one of the most important things if you have a goal to lose fat. You cannot convert fat into muscle. You have to get rid of that fat and then you are gonna have your abs. Now, another thing is that you have to actually create muscle in your abs. That's gonna make your abs and your lower abs look so much better. Now, what I'm gonna be doing now is I'm gonna show you a great workout that you can do which will help develop your abs. And then once you have got rid of that fat, you're gonna be pretty much one step ahead because you don't wanna be at that case where you've got rid of the fat and then you think, okay, what now? I don't even have like the best of abs. What's the point of me losing all that fat? I'm going to be showing you a great workout that you can do and it's really gonna help develop them abs and them lower abs. So I'm gonna be showing you five exercises which is gonna be working your abs and your lower abs. So exercise one is going to be on the cable. We're going to be lying down and we're going to be needing 
this attachment. Don't put the weight too heavy, just keep it on a reasonable weight. Make sure we have a full stretch when our arms come up and crunch. So get a full stretch, up and crunch. So really extend and get this good stretch in your abs, up and crunch. One more, get a stretch, up and crunch. So by you doing it like that, it's a lot better than just doing a normal body weight crunch because you are having a resistance. Doing a normal crunch is all good, but if you want to build some thickness in your abs, adding some weight is the way forward if you actually want to build thick abs. So here, I recommend you to go like three or four sets, anywhere from 10 to 12 reps, and it's a good exercise to work them abs. So that's the first exercise, now let's move on to the second exercise. So the second exercise now is going to be on the bench. So make sure our bum is off the bench. You can hold wherever on the bench where you feel comfortable. And all we're going to be doing is make sure we have about 90 degrees in our legs. Bring your legs in and crunch. So stop there, 90 degrees in and crunch your abs. So stop there, in and crunch. Stop there. Really focus on that crunch coming in. Stop 90 degrees. Really come in and squeeze and crunch. You can do it that way or you can even do a leg raise, then come in and crunch. But make sure we're really focusing on that crunch on the way in and that's the way forward to really target them lower abs. So that's the second exercise that I want you to do. Give it a try. You can do this on any bench, but yeah. If you even want to be a bit more advanced, you can add a little bit of weight in your feet and then bring it in. By doing that, you're going to add a little bit of resistance and build some thick abs by doing that. So that's the second exercise. So the third exercise now is a little advanced, but you are going to be needing a ball. And you can actually do this now on a TRX as well. But what we are going to be doing is, so we're going to be in a press up position on the ball. Make sure our core is tight because if your core is not tight, you're going to be going all over the board and you're not going to be in stable position. So we're in a pressing position. All we're going to be doing is bringing the ball in, squeeze your lower abs, back down. So really bring the ball in, squeeze your lower abs, back down. I don't want you just to blast the reps like that. Make sure every time we are really focusing and bringing it in and squeeze your lower abs. So one more. So get a stretch, full stretch with your legs. Bring the ball in, squeeze your lower abs, back down. So this is another great exercise for your entire abs and you don't need to add no resistance to this one, simply you'll need a ball and you can even do this on a TRX. So that's the third exercise that I want you to do for your abs. So the fourth exercise now, we are going to be doing a leg raise. Don't let our feet touch the ground. Make sure we're always six inches off the ground. So. We're gonna be coming up, leg raise, and kick up. So come back down, six inches off the ground, up and kick up and back down. Don't let our feet touch. We're always gonna be having our feet off the ground. So leg raise and kick up. Back down, up and kick up. And if you really want to burn them a lot of hold the kick up for a split second, then come back down. So that is now the Fourth exercise, I want you to do, I'm gonna be showing you one more, then it's a wrap, so let's do it. Now, the fifth and final exercise we are going to be doing is like a burner, and you can actually do this now at the end of your ab workout. I've shown you a mountain climber before, and that's, let's say, not too advanced. It's the way I'm gonna be showing you now is a lot more advanced, and here you can actually do 30 reps, so each leg that you kick in is going to be one rep. So, we are going to be in a press up position. Yeah, press up position, we're ready to go. Now, a normal mountain climber is simply just coming in like this. That's a normal, standard mountain climber. That's a good cardio workout and, you know, it's all good. But how are we gonna take it one step ahead? How are we gonna take it to the next level and actually work our lower abs? So. We are going to be, the usual mountain climber, we're going to be stopping here. This time I want you to bring it right in and squeeze. So we're normally stopping there. This time I want you to take that extra inch or two. 
So this is how it's going to be looking. All right, let's do it. As you saw there, I'm going a little extra and that's how we are going to be targeting the abs a lot more than just doing a normal standard mountain climber. So give them five exercises a go and believe me, your abs are gonna be so much more developed. And when you get rid of that fat, that is how you're gonna be able to see them abs. So give it a try. So that's a great workout that you can do and you can do this two or three times a week and it'll really help develop them abs. Literally, it's gonna take you maybe like 15 minutes and it's a great effective workout that you can do, which is gonna build them thick abs and develop them lower abs. So I hope you all can take something away from this video. And if any of you guys are interested in joining my 90 day shredding plan, make sure to drop me an email and I will email you the complete details, how we can work together and we can change your physique in 90 days. So make sure to follow me on my Instagram and my Snapchat. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and I shall see you all in the next video. Peace.